Welcome to our first edition of Hashtag Ask Savvy 91. I need you to write in and ask me some questions, but first, we're having two giveaways. There's gonna be two giveaways. A warrior stick, look at this warrior stick, never seen before, a Savard warrior. You're gonna get my tape job on there. That's gift number one for our first winner. Our second one is gonna be a Howie's tape pack. Yes, a sick Howie's tape pack from one of our great sponsors of Howie's. But first, what I need you to do, I need you to give us a thumbs up. I need you to go in the comments section and put down your favorite broom and why. And last but not least, I need 10,000 subscribers so we can get these gifts out to you, the fans. We need 10,000 subscribers. So hit the subscribe button. Once we hit 10,000, the quicker we can get there, we can get this twig and Howie's tape pack out to you, the fans. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a seat in my nice little chair here, and I'm gonna answer the questions that you wanna answer. So here we go. We're gonna go into our Twitter. We're getting in here, we're gonna go in, and we're gonna start with our Ask Savvy questions right here. Our first one, Savvy, why do you wear on your white helmet, why are the ear straps black and the chin strap? It's something I did when I was younger. I didn't love the all white look and it got a little sweaty and yucky. So I put the black strap and the black ear things on and something I've always gone with since I was a little guy. So it's just something that I love. Um, second question here is, whoa, let's see. What player had the worst, oddest pregame stick prep? Well, one of the things guys used to do if a guy was struggling a lot, there's some guys, and I, I, I don't know who at the time, would throw their sticks right in the garbage can before the game. Yeah, leave them right in the pail before they went out on the ice. That's one of the worst ones I've seen. I would never do that to my stick, even if it wasn't treating me well. Um, another one here. Let's see here. What did you do with the cup when your turn came to host it in 2011. In 2011, I took Lord Stanley and we had a party at my house in the backyard. And the other thing I did for you, the fans, I brought it down to the Kawartha Golf and Country Club where I play golf and let people come in and get a picture taken with the cup and with me if they wanted. And that's what we did. And it was a great turnout and a great party and something that I'll never forget. Also here, what else we got here? Let's see, what was your best memory of your time in Calgary? Love playing in Calgary, great city. Um, the Calgary Stampede was an awesome time, one of my favorite times, but just living there. The city was awesome, uh, the atmosphere, the fans, so knowledgeable in Canada and all around the world actually, but in Canada, specifically in Calgary, they were just great and it was a great city to live in. I really enjoyed my time there. Do you think Blake Wheeler will break your Thrashers, Jets, Franchise season, single season assist record, and if he does, will you be upset? I know I will be. Fans, honestly, I will not be upset. Records are made to be broken. Um, it's something that's near and dear to my heart, obviously, but I wish Wheels, I played with him in Boston, I wish him all the best on his chance to beat that record, which will be a tough one to do. Um, who is going to be the most impactful rookie in the playoffs? Well, obviously we know that the leading scorers, Keller and Brock Besser from Vancouver, will not be in the playoffs this year. So it kind of leaves an open, an open field. And I gotta lean towards my Bruins rookies. I love them all. Um, McAvoy, Heinen, DeBrusque, and now coming on, Donato. So it could be any one of those guys. I'm gonna go with uh, uh, up front. I got a really good feeling about this Donato kid, and I'm gonna stick to my hunches. Um, a kind of a fun question here from my guys at Wildfire. How much money will you lose at Golf Wildfire Pros to the Golf Wildfire Pros this summer? As much as I did last year, boys. Zilch. I didn't lose a dollar to them, I don't think, at the end of the day. I walked out of there with a wallet full, so hopefully that'll happen again this summer. Um, have you considered coaching hockey? Yes, I have. I've coached my kids' AAA system for two years. I've done a little bit in the All-Star Department in the Summer Leagues. Um, it's something that I really want to do, but right now I'm beginning into some broadcasting. As you can see, I'm really enjoying that run right now, and hopefully that leads to a bright future with Sportsnet. Um, I'm really having a great time, so we'll see which way I go, but I would love to coach, obviously. Two questions. First, who was your favorite teammate ever? Second, I love seeing the frame jerseys in your videos. How many and which ones do you have? I've got tons of framed jerseys from all the teams I played for. My wife and my mom were incredible. They got them all framed for me. It's something that I cherish. I have them in my games room all over the place. Um, and the favorite team I had, 
I find that not fair. I had a lot of great teammates in the past, a lot of great buddies. So I'm not going to name a guy, but I play with a lot of great players and a lot of, I've had a lot of great friends that I still keep in contact with today. Um, what is your favorite moment as a Bruin and have you ever bought, thought of coming to Cape Breton for some awesome golf cabot links? Yes, my favorite moment as a Bruin, back to this guy, was winning the Stanley Cup. I only, I only played 23 games that year and unfortunately I got hurt, but this was my favorite moment as a Bruin, obviously. And uh, Cabot Lynx is on my bucket list and I will be there shortly to play it. Uh, who's better, Sid Crosby or Connor McDavid? That is a great question. There's been a lot of debate on it over the last couple of years. Obviously, uh, McDavid's hot on his tails. He's, he's had a great career so far in the NHL. But until he wins the Lord, I'm bringing him back in again. Lord Stanley, you know, he's not going to be able to be compared to Sid yet. I know there's a lot of irritated people with that because he is a great hockey player. But I give Crosby the thumbs up right now still as the best player in the world. Um... Who was your favorite line mates? And who did you have the best chemistry with? Um, had a lot of great line mates over the, in, my, in my lifetime. I was very uh, fortunate to play with a lot of great players. Uh, obviously Wayne back in, in New York and those, he was on my line, but he was around. Uh, Adam Graves, you know, this is going back, Kevin Stevens, uh, moved on from there. Played with, um, who else? I, you know, uh, Iginla in Calgary. Uh, from there I moved on and played with Heatley. Uh, Kovalchuk, Hossa, Glenn Murray, you know, Phil Kessel, Tyler Sagan. So the list goes on. And, and it's unfair to me to say who's, who's really my favorite, but probably chemistry-wise, me and Kovalchuk. Just lay him out and he'd pop him in. It was, a, it was a dynamic duo, I think, if you ask me. Who do you think the Bruins should draft in the upcoming draft? That's a tough one. The Bruins, I think, traded their first-round pick away, if I'm not... I'm not mistaken for in the Rick Nash deal, so they don't have a first round pick. Obviously, everybody wants this Darlene guy. If anything special could happen, that would be awesome if they can move up and get him, but it's going to be tough. Um, let's see what else here. What was your favorite moment as a New York Ranger? There's a really good question. My favorite moment was this. I got to play with my idol, the greatest player of all time and not only did I get that in his last game folks yes in his last game please zoom in on this look where the kid snuck in there's the wainer there if you can scan over here Wayne rested I didn't grab his arm he put it on my lap there's me and the old wainer just taking a chill pill after his last game of his career folks yes and I didn't know what I was doing at the time I just ended up in that spot um, and it was great. And there's Adam Graves over there, Kevin Stevens, a lot of my good friends, Mike Richter, sneaking up here in the corner. This is probably one of my favorite memories as a Ranger, and maybe of all time in my National Hockey League career, sitting here with the, aggress the best player of all time. So that's probably one of them right there. We're just gonna drop that on the ground for now. We do have it framed in another area in the room. Uh, favorite Bruin as of right now? Great question. I love a lot of the Bruins because I got a lot of you know friends on the team still, and a lot of people question me when I say this name. But Brad Marchand, I know he does some things that he wish he didn't do sometimes. We all wish that, and even he does. But he is my favorite player. He's electric. He's great at both ends of the ice. He he does a lot for the Bruins, and also he's probably a top five player in the NHL. Let's be honest right now. He is a top five player in the NHL. Uh, favorite childhood hockey moment? Uh, it could be playing or watching, etc. My favorite childhood hockey moment, I played in the tournament in Val d'Or back in the day and um, we went to triple overtime in the final game and a kid on the other team covered the puck in the crease with his hand and we were, our team was awarded a penalty shot and I was on the ice <clears throat> and our coach picked me. No, he wasn't my dad, he was a normal coach, he picked me and I did score the overtime winner on that penalty shot and it was probably one of my favorite moments as a young uh, pup. Um, have you ever spoken to the Bruins organization? about joining as a coach or in any other position. Um, yes, I have. Don Sweeney's been great. I've had some talks with Don. Uh, we thought there was something coming available this year. It didn't happen. And I touched to Butch Cassidy. We had a great chat uh, about joining him on the bench. Uh, they're full at the moment. If anything comes available, Bruce said he would reach out to me. So hopefully that's something that might happen in the future. Um, why do so many players tape over the toe of their stick blades? Uh, the composite sticks than they used to with the wood. 
I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to it. I just think it's a more popular thing nowadays to tape right to the end of your stick. I just think that's what guys are doing. It's very easy now learning that you can use scissors instead of tucking it in, doing all kinds of weird things. So I don't think it has anything to do with wood or composite. It's just something that's uh, more favorable. Um, let's see here. What is your, this is an off question. What is your favorite golf course you've played all time and why? Uh, I've been lucky enough to play a lot of great courses. Piners number two, uh, St. Andrews, uh, TPC Sawgrass. Uh, I'm going to Pebble next year. I'm, I'm so, uh, at the end of the year, this year, I'm so excited. I would have to go though. I really enjoy the atmosphere at St. Andrews the day I was there. And I did it the old fashioned way, folks. No, I didn't get spoon fed and got a tea time. I waited up overnight. I was at the till from 12 a.m., got up to the desk at 6 a.m., got my tea time, and I was off at about one o'clock. That's something I'll never forget. So that's probably my favorite moment. Um, switching over here to the other part of this thing here. Hang on a second, folks. I'm a little slow when it comes to this. I'm going over to my ask. Savvy, just the other page here. I'm having trouble. I might have to get my producer down. Okay. Um, let's see. <clears throat> let's see here. Which? What did you most enjoy about your time in Oshawa? There's a good question with the generals. Just the four years in Oshawa, being a kid, being away from home, uh, really having to grow up, it, it was probably the funnest time that I had in my life, to be honest with you. When I was a little kid, nothing to worry about, going to school, playing hockey. It was just a special time and I really enjoyed my career there and I thank the organization very much for that in Oshawa. Um, besides your own, which tape job is your favorite of the ones you've featured so far? Well. Honestly, my favorite tape job right now, and I'm using it still, is the Panarin, which, when I do send this stick out, if you subscribe, and we hit 10,000 votes as quick as, 10,000 subscribers as quick as possible, I'm gonna be putting a Panarin on this because it's the one I'm using right now, and I'll be signing it up, but it is the Panarin. Um, what else we got here? If healthy, would you be playing today? Yes, I think I would be playing today. I love the game, I watch it every day. It's my, it's my favorite sport with golf. I'm a big golf guy now. Um, probably have to do there. Oh, here's a good one here. What is your best Milan Luchik story on or off the ice? Can you share it? Great story, folks. We're playing out in Philly one night and uh, we're on the ice and we're going through and Luch gets a, a, a stick in the face first and ends up you know hurting his beak a bit. We all know he's got a little bit of a beak on him and he's leaking a bit from the nose. Trainer cleans him up. Then in the second period, you know, and I'm playing with him all game, he goes in the board and some guy kind of gets low on him and his face hits flat into the board. Well, his nose is all over his face. Anyways, he goes in the room and he comes out to the bench and now he's got the full shield on. He's got two pieces of uh, cotton up his nose so his nose won't bleed. And I look at him on the bench and I said, where'd you get it, bud? Did you get hit? And he looks at me with a big smile and his nose is hurting and he says, he tells me to shut up and get away. He was, he wasn't very happy with me, buddy. We were joking around. It was a, it was probably the best Luchik moment I have with him in that game. A um, couple more here. Let's do two more because we got to run. Uh, let's scroll down. Um, let's see here. What curve are you currently using? There's a good question right there. Can we get that curve for a righty? <laughs> um, I mean, I actually, when I played, uh, you'll see on this stick here, um, if you subscribe, you might win it. it. I was used a heel curve, a big time heel curve. And I'll tell you what, since I've gone in and playing a little bit of men's league with some friends and stuff, nothing serious, I got into a big toe curve like Cole with Chuck used to use in the day. And I wish I would have used that when I played because I think I would have been a sniper instead of a passer. I really enjoy the toe hooks now for toe drags and stuff like that. It's a great question. It's what I'm using right now. And yes, they come in righty. You can find big tokers at the, your local stores or Warrior Hockey. Just order them online. Get into Warrior Hockey. It's the best twig out there. Last one I'm going to go with here. Let's pick one. Um, oh, Savvy. I got my gloves. They're getting sticky in the palm. How do I fix that? Very good question there. Something that I don't like either. Um, Howie's tape. Howie makes that trainer's tape I'm talking about. Very smooth, non-sticky stuff. 
Okay, I'm gonna let my producer feel it. She's gonna catch that. She never misses a beat. Feel how smooth that is, right? You can feel it. She's smiling, she doesn't talk. But anyways, and the other quick key, get some powder. Hit that with some Johnson's baby powder or take your stick also, take the knob, throw some plastic over it before you do it and so it keeps that slippy down there. We don't wanna get sticky. But anyways, I'm gonna stand up again here. We're gonna let you go. But remember folks, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. We need 10,000 subscribers to get this stick out to you and some Howie's tape packs. And the last thing, comment. You have to comment on who your favorite Brune was and you know, tell us why. So if you can do that and get it all done as quick as you can, we can get this twig out to you. But remember for now, kids, take care of your sticks and they'll take care of you.